Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we continue looking at the uh, settings app we're going to look at the storage sense feature and in the next video we'll talk about the general storage of your computer. So storage sense is an automated process in Windows 10 that enables you to save space automatically without having to interact with your computer all the time. Be by default it's off that means that it is not functional. That means everything saved to your PC is just saved to your PC. Storage Sense, when enabled, you can actually kind of control somewhat what it will do. So if you want to use Storage Sense, if you, especially if you have a hard drive on your PC or tablet that is doesn't have a lot of space on it, you can go to the Settings app. And so you can go by the bottom right in the quick actions. You can also go into the start menu, click the uh, settings gear. Here you will go into the system tab. And on the left side, you'll see storage. Storage is going to show you, of course, the general storage of your PC. But it's going to also have at the top something called storage sense. Can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need like temporary files and content in your recycle bin. So you see here it's off right now and this is by default on most Windows PCs it is actually off. You can configure Storage Sense by clicking. That means that you can use Storage Sense in specific ways. The first one here at the top is if I turn it on it says Storage Sense runs automatically when you're low on disk space. So if you want to run it automatically, you have choices. You can do it every day, every week, every month, or only when you're low on disk space. That means that it will run only when, you know, there's not a lot of space left on your hard drive. Then you have, of course, what you want to delete or not. Delete temporary files that my apps aren't using. Delete files in my recycle bin if they have been there for over 30 days. You can, of course, change that to never or choose a specific amount of days. So this is good. Delete my delete files in my download folders if they have been there for over. So this is uh, touchy because, for example, my downloads folder, I don't necessarily want the files that I downloaded to be removed. I kind of rather do it manually. So I will choose never in my case. But if you download stuff and that you never go to the download folder for uh, to check it out again, then you might want to actually have this automatically done every day, every 14 days, and so on. Storage Sense can free up space by removing unused cloud-backed content. If you use OneDrive, what happens is OneDrive is capable of having what we call file on demand. So what happens with file on demand is that you will have the file in OneDrive in the cloud but not a local copy of it. You will still see it as if it's there, but it will be downloaded only when it's used. That helps you save space on your local hard drive. So what you could do is content will become online only if not open for more than a certain amount of time. So, you know, if you choose, for example, 30 days, that means everything that you would actually touched, opened, or did something modified in the last 30 days will still stay on your hard drive. But everything older than that will have a copy only in the cloud. And finally, if you really want to free up some space, you have free up space now. By doing the clean now, it will free up space. So what does it affect exactly? Because maybe you will look at this option and say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared to click that free up space, the clean now button. I'm afraid I'm going to lose software, my programs. And so this doesn't touch any programs. It doesn't touch files that are in your main folders. That's documents, uh, pictures, videos, and so on. It really is a relatively risk-free um, cleanup. But it will remove everything from your... Um, um, in, in anything that you actually put in the trash can or in the uh, recycle bin. So all of that will be removed. Anything that is temporary that uh, some software might have left behind will be removed. But in general, it's relatively, um, you know, 
safe to use and you shouldn't technically have anything that is missing uh, really after you actually do the clean now. And you know, you'll free up space so if you're a little low on space or if you don't have that much space and you might want to free up some of the space while well, you can click the clean now button. We'll tackle here because I'm talking of storage sense of a myth that everybody thinks. Will this make my PC faster? No, it will not. And that's something that you got to know. A lot of people remove files that are left behind because they think it slows down the PC, when in reality, it actually doesn't do anything on speed for a very simple reason. These files are dormant. They're not being used or accessed at all. So thinking that removing uh, temporary files will speed up your computer is not the case, okay? A lot of people believe that it doesn't change. Your PC will not be faster. This tackles only one very specific thing, freeing up space so that you have more space on your hard drive, and that's it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.